In the U.S. state of Washington, 14 people are confirmed dead and about 100 remain missing following a massive weekend mudslide in a rural area in the northwest of the state. CCTV's Chris Cascale has the latest on the continuing rescue, rescue efforts. Aerial video captures the devastation from Saturday's mudslide. Within a matter of minutes, 49 homes were covered in what officials described as quicksand-like earth. Authorities say families were living in about half the units. Tiffany Hardy Tim saw the destruction firsthand Sunday morning and is among several family members and friends of those reported missing, waiting for the go-ahead from first responders to go back again. My good friend, her mom and her baby are missing up there. And um, we just kept on yelling for them, kept on seeing if we could hear anything, and we couldn't hear anything. The Stillaguamish River is flowing again, and that means rescue efforts will not be hampered by the threat of any more flooding. Authorities are still blocking traffic on a major state highway for several kilometers, still covered in mud and debris. Emergency management officials say the mudslide measures about 1.5 kilometers long and 300 meters wide. Probably an estimate of 15 million cubic yards of material. It's massive. I mean, it's, it's the biggest thing I have seen in the 30 years I've, I've been working in this area. Meanwhile, they're still calling the operation search and rescue, not recovery. We're still holding out hope that we're going to be able to find uh, people that may still be alive. But keep in mind, we have not found anybody alive on this pile since Saturday. For those still looking for missing loved ones, they know time isn't on their side. Looking for either great news that they're still alive or closure that we found them. Anything. Clinging to hope despite the long odds. Chris Cascajo, CCTV, Snohomish County, Washington.